What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkFixed.net, and we are inside of Sony Vegas Pro 13. Now, in Sony Vegas Pro 12, I had done a video on doing color matching. Uh, however, I had not used it until today, actually, in Sony Vegas Pro 13. And there is a huge difference between the Sony Vegas Pro 12 version of color matching compared to the uh, version 13. So what you do is that in color matching is that you choose the video that you want to choose or that you want to do your color matching from your source video. This right here is our source video because it's got a very vibrant green texture to it and this is what we want to go with. So you right click on it and you open in trimmer. This right here is going to open up that video inside of the video trimmer. Now what you do is that we're going to go in and we're going to choose a video that we want to update our color on so we've got this video right here which as you can tell looks awfully bland it's just uh the color is not really good even though it was taken with the same exact camera on the same day not even within 45 seconds apart from each other it's just that i was a lot closer to this video than i was on this one and so what you do is that on a little event effects button here. So whenever you click on it, it's gonna open up this window and you're gonna most likely be inside of the effects. You wanna go inside the Sony and then come down to Sony Color Match. <laughs> click OK on it and then it's gonna open up your color match right here. So we're gonna, um, let's move this over and drag it up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so on our first screen, our source image, we want to choose this one right here. So this is going to be our trimmer image. Okay, so it's going to grab a hold of that one. Now, our other video is going to be our preview. So when we come over here, we're going to choose preview. Okay, and so it's automatically going to jump up our greens really high. Now, that's just a little bit too much, and it looks too artificial. So what you do is come over here to your strength and just drop it all the way down to zero. It's gonna put it right back to where it's supposed to be at. Then just sit here and just bring it up gradually until you find the mark where you actually want it at. And I think it's at about 50 is where this one's gonna actually look good at instead of what it originally was. And if you wanna test to see what it looks like before and after, just come over here and uncheck it. When you uncheck it, it's gonna bring it back to its default state you can check it again then it'll bring it to what you have it at now you can also do a match brightness as well and that will also change your color up just a little bit so we can uncheck it and it's just uh, as you can see there's just a subtle difference between the two colors and that actually looks pretty good right there so i'm actually going to leave that as is now so i mean it's a it's a lot different from the way that Sony Vegas Pro 12 had their color match compared to the Sony Vegas Pro 13's color match. Just a subtle difference. And you can check out the other video uh, right here and it will actually show you that color match in 12 compared to 13. Okay, Wayne Baron here with DarkFakes.net inside of Sony Vegas Pro 13. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.